Well, we're just going to draw uh, this graph now. We'll just do it uh, fairly quickly. So turn the calculator on, and again we go to the Y function here, so that little green button that is on the actual calculator looks bluish here. And now we put it in. So it's 2 times sine. Now I, I should work just by putting 2 sine, but I had an issue a minute ago with it doing that, and it drew a weird graph, so I'm going to put 2 times sine. And there's your X and then minus, and now to avoid any confusion I'm going to put 0.25 here uh, times pi, where's pi there, and close the bracket, and plus the square root there, square root, square root of 3, close the bracket again because the calculator won't like it if I don't, and now I've entered my function, so is it the same, 2 times sine of x minus a quarter pi, close bracket plus that yes it is. Now I'm going to graph it by pushing the, blue, the uh, green button and graphing. And there's my graph. And uh, that's what it looks like. I'm just going to check the answer. Here it is there. That's what my graph looks like. So it's pretty much the same, just uh, it's a bit, bit more squashed up. Uh, I'm back here. It's a little bit more, more squashed up, but you can see pretty much that's the graph. If I wanted to check it, just hit the F3 and then I'll use these buttons here just to move along. Where did I want to go to? Uh, I wanted to go to 2 pi, which is going to be 6.28 about, and you can see we're pretty close to there on the end, 6.28 and that end there's 0. So that's my 0 to 2 pi as far as the domain is concerned, and I could go along here if I wanted to, and measuring various points, but we'll just uh, leave it at that uh, for the moment.